When it comes to content writing, as a developers, we really like to write in Markdown. That's what we used to do. And there is so many not taking applications at the moment that work on top of Markdown that most of developers are using. That's why when you are a developer and you try to make a content like blog for your personal website or just even to do some other project as a blogging hobby, you probably need some kind of a blogging system, but at the moment, most of CMS systems or like in general blogging systems come with extra requirement that maybe you have to have a separate server for that because let's say Ghost or WordPress comes with MySQL requirement project that I'm going to show you today uh, with Next.js, React and Markdown that you can basically write your blogs on Markdown, put a file directly in uh, your sources and build your static website with Next.js. And that gives you huge flexibility on also having API with Next.js to attach some backend systems with it. So that comes really handy. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, to fast forward things, I basically made a simple Next.js setup with TypeScript and added almost all code that we need to showcase what's going to happen and how you can extend that functionality later on. To get started, on top of like simple Next.js and TypeScript setup, I basically used uh, gray matter and marked libraries, which are basically uh, transformation uh, libraries for markdown files. Uh, gray matter basically turns your markdown with metadata uh, for the blog, like we have at the moment here. Let's say it's a title, date, description, thumbnail. We can pass whichever parameter we want. It will be just a key and a value as a string that we have here at our like um, React application will get that eventually Next.js will build this as a static website, but we still have to pass uh, specific parameters based on Markdown. That's why I'm using uh, Gray Matter uh, library, which is pretty cool. And then another one is Marked, which is basically a transformation library uh, bringing your markdown in, into plain HTML and embedding that in, inside the React component. So this one is pretty simple. So to get started, we basically have to uh, go over this piece of code, which basically loops over a directory called posts, where we keep all of our markdown files uh, assigned with md. Uh, file extension so we basically filtering that out so we are picking up only markdowns if you want to have there some kind of a like extra file let's say you are keeping track of your blog posts or try to separate that into di directories with older ones then this code won't pick up because it just tries to find uh, first level markdown files with md uh, file extension and then basically it reads that up when uh, this code executes during static website building. And after reading, it passes to a, a library gray matter where we are extracting all of the formatted uh, markdown header things as a key value. And we have to also sort that with a given date that we defined in our date uh, parameter. This basically helps you to list uh, your blog posts based on a given date where you, you had published it. And this is uh, simply a JavaScript date argument, uh, valid argument date. So you can tweak a little bit, maybe change a format, but still this has to be working as a JavaScript uh, parameter that we are giving with the new date. So if you want to use moment or like any other library for uh, dates, here is the place to do. But at the moment, I'm just using a JavaScript date and, and I'm pretty fine uh, defining this uh, ISO format dates. So no issues at my end. But of course, this is open source and you can tweak it wherever you want. 
And when this uh, Next.js code executes, it basically tries to get a static props for this uh, specific page, which means this, uh, this happens when we run a next build and it tries to generate an HTML content out of our React component. So it passes up specific properties to our React component that we want to handle here. Basically, we are getting a slug, which is the uh, an actual URL parameters, front matter, key value store that we have uh, in our metadata for markdown files uh, like here. And it being parsed by gray matter here. Here you can see for each post we are passing a slug, which is basically going to be a URL and the from front matter, which is a key value options parameter headers for your markdown file. And essentially next things is pretty simple. We are just looping over posts, setting next gen link to an actual blog post page using its slug parameter. And of course we are printing out some uh, basic information about this post like title description. You can also include a thumbnail that we have a URL here as an image. So pretty cool stuff you can build around this, basically a fully, fully functional uh, blog out of this uh, dynamic content generation thing. And as a result, we basically have this simple web page where we are listing blog post one uh, with its title and we have also link uh, to a specific uh, blog post that we are going to. So you can basically design this wherever you want let's say like make a postcard. I'm not spending time on designing this, but it's just a plain uh, Next.js React application. So you can attach pretty much every CSS framework that you use. So moving on, the next thing is basically whenever you click on a blog link, you go to a specific blog page, which is tied with the slug, uh, meaning the blog file itself. So where we are getting that file? So basically when you see that we are going over each file in uh, get static paths and for each file we are passing the file name without markdown. So that's where we are getting a slug which means the path parameter for the blog itself. And that file name could be anything but it's like really better to have uh, dashes in, instead of like spaces because URLs will be looking very ugly. Pretty much URL standard is dashes. So that's the way to use. And the same thing actually happens in blog post. We have a function which basically lists out all of the uh, paths, uh, tries to find the specific path that we are matching and then passes that as a, a property parameter uh, to our blog post component. And the next thing here is that we have another function which is still uh, the functionality for Next.js. Whenever it tries to build a new website, we basically have uh, options so for getting a static properties as we did in. And for specific blog post page, we basically have to read the entire markdown file again, pass that to mother to parse uh, properties for that specific markdown page defined by slug. So first we are identifying which uh, specific slug is that file. Then we are basically reading that file and again parsing with the markdown metadata parser and also reading the entire content with the markdown uh, parser to uh, provide that as an HTML later on. And for after all of that, we are getting properties here, the markdown metadata, which call front matter slug, which is pretty usual already. We have that uh, used already in get static props. And that basically into the name of your markdown file and an actual content that we have from gray matter that parsed 
also metadata so it, it provides also content as a separate uh, parameter so now we basically have to just attach our image as a thumbnail uh, with the specific uh, thumbnail property that we have defined here and that file basically uh, inside our public folder but this could be of course like uh, anything like you could upload your image to S3 or any other resource and provide a URL here it's just an image URL that you want to use for your in thumbnail and of course this part where we have to transform our given markdown with the library called, called marked and put that as an HTML inside our content and still this there is not design absolutely but of course you can apply anything here uh, I just built that in very simplistic way without any design changes here and if we take a look on a browser this whole functionality looks like this it's pretty simple but still like your markdown file with the thumbnail image have been transformed here as an HTML files so that you can deploy this uh, to Firebase or any other uh, static website hosting system. As a last thing, uh, I'm going to show you how uh, build process works for exporting clean HTML files. First, you have to build it. Then after building this, uh, you will have a next uh, generated files to have a clean HTML files that you can deploy to Firebase or any other static hosting website you have to run uh, next export which basically exports your react components or pages into clean HTML files only without any API functionality or dynamic uh, react things it's just an HTML and JavaScript files that you can deploy to Firebase or any other uh, static website hosting system. And if you take a look after build what you have in the folder called Oat, uh, you'll get that there is an index.html file which pretty much like minified, but uh, you can see that our content is there already and blog posts links are there they are linked properly and even when you start up this page inside the browser uh, without having anything uh, it shows a correct uh, result and that will be a static build for your website so this sums up basic implementation of next.js static block thing with markdown where you now can basically design your own personal website, personal blog or pr project that you are working on with a simple CSS framework React and then build all of that into static HTML with markdown posts that you wish. So what I'm usually doing for my personal blog is I'm blogging on Medium or blogging in Notion then exporting that to markdown which is pretty simple and referencing that in my personal blog. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.